Hey everybody, Rodham here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 17 of the Speedrun Challenge. So the first thing I want to do, I want to do a lot of little um, helpful tasks here, is let's focus on getting our base up to an acceptable temperature by building roof zones so that we don't have these big gaping holes in the roof from where the potters came in and crashed our base. And let's have the heat generated from our freezers to feed back to the base. Uh, next up, Bubaloo, I want you to acquire me some wood. Um, JD, I want you to build the cables towards the um, mini turrets again, because we might need those mini turrets. Rearm and rearm and then repair. So now we have some turrets back. Another thing I want to do is to um, find a uranium deposit. It's going to be another. Big deal. All right, so Bubaloo, you cut these trees. Let's haul the wood. I'm going to put a temporary zone right here of wood. Because uh, we need it to repair a lot of the bedding, etc. Trying to stay as productive as possible uh, because time is my enemy. As are all the sappers that keep coming to the base. They're enemies too. All right, so now this wall is repaired. Um, oh man, there's so many dead bodies piling up everywhere. I'm just not gonna have to. I'm gonna have to not worry about that as best I can. In fact, when how about you grab some Molotovs and clear out some of these? And maybe even uninstall, uh, change the bed around so that you sleep here again. Okay. JD's finished repairing this stuff up here. Uh, let's turn it off. We do have some barrel durability left on that. Uh, Bubbleu, I have something more important for you. It's a cold snap. I need you to harvest these psychoids. JD, you are going to construct the bedroom. All right, let's get that rebuilt. Let's forbid the door so that he has to uh, work on that. So this is Bubblu's bed. And JUD's bed, and we're not gonna stop until the bedroom. Okay, hello. Until the bedrooms are done. Excuse all this manual setup, but Bubbleu wanted to fall asleep on the job. All right, so there's a lot of repair left to be had, but we're trying to just make it so that the bedrooms are workable again, functioning as bedrooms. Okay, so that's true now. Time to go to sleep. Short circuit event. Cool, it's just perfect actually. Short circuit in and it's going to burn some corpses. Uh, let's go ahead and 
clear home zone. So I really, really, really don't care if things, certain areas burn. Uh, as for injuries, Lulu got really lucky. Her jaw is healing. Everyone else has moderate injuries, and they're healing as well. Uh, let's get rid of the wood zone. Wynn is about done with the last thing of research I'm going to do, Starflight sensors. Everything else, I don't think I'm going to bother with. Um, mostly do the crunch of time. Some things I'm going to work on. I'm going to put um, two turrets back into the base. Plop them like that and have dead power. And this way we're protected from infestations while we deep drill. It does cost a lot of steel, but we're about to reclaim a lot of steel breaking down the research benches. Uh, Bubble Lou is fully healed. JD soon to follow. Lulu's working on it. Uh, I'm going to have Bubble Lou do some repairing before he uh, continues to mine. Alright, Starflight sensors are done. Win, I have a weird task for you. You are going to create a little caravan. And I'm going to put let's see. I'm gonna put stuff I own into this caravan. To get rid of. All right, so one type of grenade each. Um, load all the jade we can. Nope, load all the jade we can. And now she's gonna exit the map and dump all that stuff to nowhere. The infinite garbage, as it were. And hopefully I won't get raided in the meantime. Oh, ha 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 ha. Uh, win, you're... Oh, all right, it's fine. Uh, pause. Items. So this is all items that add value to my colony, but uh, I don't really care for. Win's back. She's close to where the action's going to be. JD and Lulu, um, I'm going to ha I'm gonna have to field them. As much as I want Lulu to heal... Uh, we are going to have to stop this siege. Oh, they're moving towards me. Now, uh, let's let them call on their supplies first. And then, you know, turn the screws. Uh, as for uranium, let's see if that is a uranium node. So their weapons are very short-ranged, very, very good for me. Their longest weapon is a bolt action, which reaches out to these stone blocks. So let's get behind these trees and start pummeling them. Where is their bolt action? Uh, Eddie? Ooh, we accidentally shot someone's jaw off. Trying to shoot Eddie. Oh, and there's Ed and Eddie. Is there an Ed with two Ds? Probably not. Alright. They're close enough to fire back. I'm behind cover and he's not. JD, are you? No, JD, you're not even shooting the right dude. 
We're spreading our damage out a little bit. Let's focus on Mr. Eddie. Bob, how are you doing? Good, you've repaired the base. It looks actually kind of nice. There's a bunch of them that are like bleeding pretty seriously now. I've been really lucky as to have dodged all the bullets so far. Oh, because you are a cirrhosis, alcohol addicted, uh, asthmatic sniper. You're not going to be all that accurate. I don't even need to look at your sh- Nope, yep, yeah, you're down. Okay. Uh, next up. Go for pots. Why? I don't know, because they're close. Go for Natalia. They should be sieging or uh, manually attacking us pretty soon. Go for Vienna, because she's exposed. And she's also missing the jaw. Ooh, wow, she has really gotten shot a lot. Uh, go for Mel. Why aren't they attacking me yet? I don't really care, actually, because this gives me time to thin their ranks. You want to be dumb? Be as dumb as you want. Let's actually spread the damage out if they're being this useless. Oh, smoke pot belt. That actually startled me. Uh, shoot someone that isn't in the cloud. Would be more efficient. Alright, Mr. Bob. Let's have you check if this is uranium. We're going to need it to resupply our turrets. And they're assaulting the colony. I'm going to fall back. Wow, that fire is still raging? That's great. JD's fully healed. Actually, waiting and shooting. Cool. And we will stack up right in there. So, of the original, we only need to kill half. Human raiders are like that. Alright, let's get out of the doorway. And... Bring the fight up this way. I like sieges because then they attack normally, which makes it a lot easier for us to uh, destroy them. There's still some stragglers that I can snipe at. Okay, I don't want to get shot though. Oh, good. Happy's down. Oh, I didn't. Okay, they're fleeing. Good, good, good. Uh, we are going to have to kill Lion. But the rest of them I don't really care about. I want to conserve my steel. Alright, Mr. Lion. You're just going to have to die right now. Ooh, you got deaded real hard. About as hard as I've ever seen anyone get killed. Uh, this is Uranium. Awesome. That will allow me to resupply my slug turret, which is very essential to the survival, the long-term survival of this group. Food binge, okay. Binge as much as you want. I have a lot of food. Wow, that was a quick binge. Thanks, Win. actually. That could have been a lot longer, and you chose not to binge out for a long time, so I thank you. Lulu's fully healed. JD cranking out some additional turrets. These turrets are going to help us protect against inf uh, infestations and sappers and the like, so I'm going to have JD stay up a little bit to work on both. 
Uh, Lulu is breaking down some mechs, which is fantastic. Um, if I could get you to finish this off and then go to sleep, that'd be the best case scenario for me. Because now we have uranium mine. Shoot Frenzy. Perfect. I like that. Thank you, Storyteller, for taking some mercy. All right. So, Miss Wynn, you are not wanting to look at dead bodies. Uh, what I'm going to do is attempt to uh, put graves for the dead bodies that are around my base, the closest, um, just because it's... You know, like this dead body, for instance, we couldn't um, burn very easily because it's he's right next to doors, etc. I don't know why I'm making Wind do this, but uh, what is Wind's work? Wind's work is she can't mine for shite. So yeah, Wind should be doing this. Whereas JD and. Bubbleu and Lulu should be mining like crazy. JD is going to be breaking down those um, benches for the materials. Okay, you are running to. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Now, a lot of these bodies, yeah, I just won't care about. But the ones I'm going to constantly see all the time, I will. Uh, I'll sort out. So I'm going to do a. Giant Forbid here, and then we'll allow the med supplies uh, win. How's it going? JD, you're set to mine at three, which is after construct. So once everything's repaired, uh, he should go back to mining, which is fine. Not everything needs to be repaired, so I'm going to do some sanity checking. So, for instance, these walls I don't really care about. In fact, none of these walls I really care about. As long as they're pseudo-intact, that's fine. Uh, how am I doing for time here? Alright, we are... Wow, it feels like it takes forever, but it has. it's not. All right, so now we have a lot of steel reclaimed from those research benches. We are done with research, like, forever. Okay, these this wall I'm going to ignore in the future. And JD is going to be digging at the deep drill, uh, giving us uranium, allowing us to build the reactors, which require, or build the, um, whatever requires uranium, the, uh, the pods, and reload the uranium slug turret. Okay, Win will be a glorified hauler probably for the rest of this, which is not perfect for her. I might have her do some more hauling out to the edge of the map, trying to get rid of some wealth runs, because if we check my history here, it has worked a little bit. We have decreased our wealth a teeny bit, not a whole lot, but a teeny bit, and that counts for something. Um, the next thing I want to do is to get this beam built, uh, because... That allows me to lay out the rest of the ship. So I'm going to start delivering materials to the beam and have Wind do that. Uh, Lulu is making advanced components. Everybody is fully healed. The ship is half over with the raids, which is awesome. And JD, we're, oh, you're just, okay. Everyone needs a little R&R. &R. The inner base is a little cold. I will agree that that is true. It's not a bad temperature in the crafting room, though, so that's good. I think I've broken down all the mechs that ha are needing to be broken. Uh, let's go ahead and... No, I'm not going to remove the... Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to remove the roof here. So, 
as during the daytime we can move around a little faster but i'm going to do this with uh win so when you are going to be set to construct one And she's going to remove the roof. Now, another thing to do is keep my eye on my steel. But fortunately, there's a lot of uh, overworld steel that I had marked for myself. Um, I'm really worried right now about this lack of attacking. Generally, a lack of attacking... Uh, means that I'm about to get like absolutely pummeled in the next fight but I guess time will tell uh, so is everything okay not everything is hauled there but that's okay I don't know I mean it's another day of survival so I don't really mind cool psychic drone Ooh, it's um, snowing, so it's going to get rid of a lot of this blood, which is gross. Makes the environment more pretty. It does make it slower to move around, um, but you know, whatever. All right, so here's the structural beam, and then of course what we have left is the sensor cluster and the computer core and four pods for our four survivors. All right, here's our raid. They're a sapper raid. They're coming from the north. Uh, so if they're a sapper raid, what I'm gonna do is to set up uh, anti-sap defenses right now. So let's take a look. Uh, if they sap into here, that's fine. If they sap into here, that's fine. Uh, we'll put this turret here. I guess to cover this area. If they sap into the geothermal, I don't know if there's anything to be done about that then, but to lure them towards my kill box. I'm also deconstructing some uh, auto doors that I no longer need. I don't need really any of these uh, marble walls, but at least the auto door gives me um, components. And we have the Accord of Waiyao. All right, so hold on. The Accord of Waiyao hate... Okay, so they hate each other. This uh, works to my favor. All right, Bubaloo, you keep doing what you're doing. The others, uh, let's get them ready to defend against these sappers. So Elephant Seal, almost certainly going to be their primary sapper. Uh, the Accord of Waiyao are coming to maybe be a three-way fight? Okay, where are you coming? You are... Nope. You noped out of there, huh? Yes, fight each other. Kill one another. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, Lulu. Hop out there. Win. And JD, stop trying to leave. Run a little interference. So my money is, I really want to kill off the tribals here. Oh, God, speaking of tribals. Gotta get these on. Time to get inside. Oh, they're keeping that door going. Uh, Bubble, I'm gonna need you. All right, you are chasing, I don't know who you're chasing, but we're going to fan out and figure out who you're chasing. Good, you are destroying the turret. There's no way for me to turn off this turret, so I'm just going to lean into it. Uh, bobbers. Explode on them, please. All right, so those dudes are fleeing. That means all of the um, tribals should be fleeing now. Um, okay, bub, you can go back to mining. Whoa, the uranium slug from downtown. Okay, 
Who is bashing at mine door? Bubble go repair that. These guys are going to need a little reminding as to not break my doors. Uh, there are some... No, they're fleers. Okay. All these guys are fleers and just need to be put down. Uh, turrets. Uranium slug. Looking like it needs resupply soon. Um, speaking of which, let's go have Bubaloo do that. And this other group is being shot at. None of my turrets looking worse for wear. Resupply, always an issue, but the turrets look fine. All right, that's a terrible place for steel. They got through. Don't really know where he's going. He's probably going to this limestone door. Uh, let's check up on this turrets. They're starting to take damage. The actual the problem is the first one through has a frag grenade, so I'm going to make sure that Lulu stays behind to take him out. And JD is starting to get a minor break. Uh, you know, but you have a um a shooting spree, so I'm going to keep you conscripted because you could be useful over here. All right, Lulu, you're going to get um frag grenaded. Don't like the idea of an enemy near my ship with frag grenades. Checking up on the turrets because it's been a little while. The turrets are running out of ammo. I just heard a frag grenade thrown. JD, it's time to move. Lulu, it's time to start shooting Norman. Let's go ahead and cancel these doors. Alright, wind took a hit. Uh, these mini turrets getting beat up, but... Ooh, that was close. Come on, just take Norman out. Win is taking more hits. I'm going to have her uh, take better cover. And... They came in multiple groups, so this fight is not over. Um, JD and Lulu, win, go tend to yourself. Okay, four eyes is coming our way. Don't really have cover, but I'm just going to stand out in the open and try to... Ah, oh, perfect. So this group is now fleeing. This All of their groups are fleeing? Yes. I think that's true. Uh, I'm even going to open up the door for them. Nope, not if you're coming this way. I was planning on being nice, but you're a dunce, so no more nice. Ah, oh, there's still more. All right, this one isn't an idiot, and it looks like they're actually going to take up on my offer and be buried properly. Now, if you're wondering why I'm spending time on corpses, it's because the negative effect of staring at corpses all the time um, can really become a problem, hence the burial of the dead, uh, which is why I think this is important. Especially when their corpse is starting to rot. 
because rotting corpses and regular corpses, the negative uh, mood modifiers will start to stack. And because I don't really have anyone that's bloodlust, uh, that's kind of a problem. Rotting corpse is really not no bueno on the mood. Not a whole lot of romance with that. Okay. Uh, we what? Four more. One. Okay. Bubble Dig at the other one. Oh, Nicole's back up and she's looking like she's hostile. She's not fleeing anymore. So I'm just going to shoot her in the head. Where did I actually shoot her? Uh, log? Leg, okay. Well, close enough. Uh, close that door. We are at 6.2 days. We are pretty healthy. And our defenses are pretty decent. Uh, this could definitely be put back here. I feel much safer mining out there because if there's an infestation, it's not going to immediately affect the base. Um, where are you hauling this? Uh, it's a smeltable, I see. Power conduit. Yes, I think that actually connects the reactor, so that one is important. And, uh, yeah, I'm just about out of time, guys. So if you have any tips, tricks, ideas, feedback for me, drop me a line. If you've liked this series, like and subscribe. If you have any questions about any priorities or anything like that, let me know. If you are, much like myself, very excited to see if I can actually do this or not, uh, I really don't know. I'm fingers crossed, butterflies in the stomach. Hopefully I get this done. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Adios, friends.